Here's a fun geometry challenge, and here's the question. Given this circle, let's draw a red segment, and let's call this as x. This is the first question. We want to find the length of this segment x. Now, another is let's draw three congruent squares with an area of one square units. And then the next question is to find the area of this circle, given this condition. Now, post this video right now and see if you can answer this question. And if you're done, of course, post your answer in the comment section down below because we will have this solution in 3, 2, 1. All right, so given this figure, the goal is to find the length of this segment X, this red segment represented as X, and of course, the area of this big circle. Now, to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to draw its diameter like this. Now, why we do that? Because we will use the symmetry of this figure. Now, what we're going to do is to use the information that the area of this square is 1 square unit. So the side length of this square simply equal to 1, of course. And since we have two squares here, so this length is 2 units. Now, what we're going to do is to solve first the value of x. So let's have the length of this segment, and let's call this as n. So on the bottom part, using the symmetry of this figure, this is also equal to n. Therefore, x, or this segment x, we can rewrite this as 2n plus 1. All right. So now, the goal is to find the value of x, which is equivalent to 2n plus 1. Now, to find the value of this segment x, what we're going to do is to use the chord chord power theorem. But before that, again, let's use the symmetry of this figure. So let's draw another red segment, which is we have equal segments. And let's draw the square right over here with an area of 1 square units. Now let's connect this side of this square like this. Now we know this is 2 units because we created a rectangle right over here and we know this is 1. Now the total of this segment right over here is just 2 plus 1 or simply equal to 3 units. And now this is enough for us to use the chord chord power theorem. So it said, when the two chords intersect, then multiply both parts of the chord together, then set them equal. This is the chord chord power theorem. So using this, in this figure, we have n multiplied by n plus 1 equals 1 multiplied by 3. Now let's focus on this equation. And let's solve for the value of x. So distribute this n, we have n squared plus n equals 3, equate this to 0, and to find the value of n, let's use the quadratic formula because this quadratic equation is not factorable. So we have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now the value of a is the coefficient of n squared which is 1. Now the value of b is the coefficient of n which is also 1. And the c is the constant term, which is negative 3. Now, let's simplify. We have 1 squared. Negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. So we have 1 plus 12. And 1 plus 12 is 13. Now, this n, this n is a segment. So n here is a positive number or positive real number. So we don't care to the negative value of n. So n here is just negative 1 plus square root of 13 over 2. And this is the value of n. But look at this. x is just 2n plus 1. Now notice, if we multiply this equation by 2, we have 2n equals negative 1 plus 13. And if we add 1 on both sides, we have 2n plus 1 equals square root of 13. And again, x is just 2n plus 1. Therefore, we can say that x equals square root of 13. And that is the answer to the first question. So x here, the length of this segment x is square root of 13 units. All right, now the second question, how about the area of this big circle? So let's begin. By the way, let's have this equation n squared plus n equals 3 because we will use this equation later on. All right. 
Now, to find the area of the circle, we need to find the radius first. So we need this theorem that relates the radius of the circle and the segment of these intersecting chords. Now, if two chords are perpendicular and intersect inside the circle, inside the circle, then we have here the relationship between the radius of the big circle and its segments. So we have 4R squared equals A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared. And we will use this to find the value of R. Now in this figure, we know this is perpendicular to each other because we have here a square for sure. And using this relationship, we can say that 4R squared equals 1 squared plus 3 squared plus n squared plus n plus 1 raised to the second power. Now, let's focus now on this result. And simplifying this, we have here 4R squared equals 1 squared is 1 plus 3 squared is 9. So we have here 10 being done n squared, n plus 1 raised to the power of 2, simply equal to n squared plus 2, n plus 1. Now, combining this 2n squared, we have here 10 plus 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. Now, here comes this equation comes into play. Because what we're going to do is to multiply this equation by 2 and get 2n squared plus 2n equals 6. And we want 2n squared plus 2n plus 1. So, add 1 on both sides. We get that the value of 2n squared plus 2n plus 1 simply equal to 6 plus 1 or simply equal to 7. So we have here 4R squared equals 10 plus 7. 10 plus 7 is 17. And finally, to find the value of R, divide both sides by 4. And sure enough, R squared equals 17 over 4. Now don't forget that the area of the circle is pi R squared. Now we know the value of R squared, which is 17 over 4. Therefore, the area of the circle simply equal to 17 pi over 4 square units. And this is our answer to this question. So the length of this segment X is square root of 13 units and the area of this circle is 17 pi over 4 square units. And as always, we are done.